and plays that way, this North Carolina State team can be dangerous. NC State at 18 and 14, Syracuse 20 and 11, and still has hopes of an NCAA bid. And when their backcourt is good for the Orange, it is off the charts good. Judah Mintz right in the thick of that. His first pass can't be finished up, but it will be eventually on the dunk by Brown. This is the interesting part right here for me. When you're thinking about the size advantage that NC State has with DJ Burns in the post, you see Kevin Keats wants to go to him immediately. Marcel will fire his first shot, won't drop. Syracuse comes away with the rebound. Marcel, 25 points against Louisville yesterday. Give you a look at the Syracuse starting lineup: Starling, Mintz, Taylor, Bell, and Brown. Bell, one of those orange shooters who just went off against the Wolfpack in one of those two victories. His first half in one of the games, he had 26. Yeah, it was 8 for 10 from beyond the three-point arc in that game. He's actually had two games this season, OB, where he's been 8 for 10 as the shot clock gets down under three seconds. Mintz has to heave it and can't connect. And Diara snatching a rebound as we look at the Wolfpack starting lineup. They had dropped four in a row before their win yesterday. O'Connell, Taylor, Marcel Burns, and Diara. Diara missing on the three there. Kevin Keats has told us he is a better player when he makes a three. He has a different level of energy when he's made a three in the ball game. All great offensive rebounder and defensive rebounder as well, but an elite defender. Winner will take on the number two seed Duke at seven tomorrow. Mintz with a pull up pop and he'll drain that. Judah Mintz named to the second team all ACC. And Michael O'Connell was great defensively for the Wolfpack yesterday, but he's going up against a different challenge here this evening, having to defend that second teamer in Judah Mintz, who averages close to 19 points a game. And we'll see when DJ Horn will enter the fray. DJ Burns with it. So much is likely to get through him, especially if the Wolfpack are going to pull out a win tonight. But when you watch how they defend D.J. Burns when he has the basketball, you see Malik Brown on the top side, Justin Taylor just waiting in the middle of the paint for him to spin back towards the baseline. Shot clock at 8, and going to be a whistle here and a foul. They're going to get Chris Bell on that one. That'll be number one on Bell. Yeah, fouling Jaden Taylor, shooting the three. And we watched Taylor yesterday, OB. After he made a free throw, he got going. He struggled to shoot the ball, but once he saw it go through from the free throw line, he really got going now. Three opportunities for him as he misses the first, which the Wolfpack took tremendous advantage of at the line yesterday. Red Autry, year number one. Following a legend, never easy, but he's gotten Syracuse to 20 wins by winning six out of their last nine at his alma mater. And your alma mater. Mine as well. So if you, you hear me leaning on that story of Syracuse still has a chance to get into the NCAA tournament. I, I believe they do, absolutely. And when you consider the fact of how good this team has been, especially as of late, they should be in the mix for one of those automatic bids. I mean, forgive me, not an automatic bid, but an at-large bid. Mintz on the attack, right up against the wall of red and drops it in. Syracuse off to a nice start here with a 6-1 lead. Marcel on the wing. He will drive it. Syracuse collapsing on him. He can't connect. Diara with a dribble down. Double fake and it's blocked from behind. Brown got a hand on it and a whistle. And a foul here against Syracuse. Judah Mintz attacking the basket, which he does so often seventh nationally in free throw makes this season. He has no problem getting to the rim, putting his head down and taking on all comers once he gets to the basket. Justin Taylor with the foul. Burns gets the return. Working on Brown. That should be an entertaining duel as he hits that one. And DJ Burns has that ability. He's had, he's getting a chance to play one on one versus Malik Brown. However, you see Judah Mintz camping out right in the middle of the lane. There will be someone in help position all the time waiting for the spin to the baseline from DJ Burns. Go, 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 
Styling with 26 against NC State in one of those victories. Mintz, tough shot, hits the deck. He does that an awful lot, but he bounces right back up and he heads to the line. Yeah, he gets to the free throw line as much as anyone, but you see defensively, Judah Mintz just staying there waiting for D.J. Burns to try to come baseline. D.J. Burns sees him in his vision, but it's not a true double team, so you don't commit and give D.J. Burns that passing lane. Mintz has drawn a team-high 179 fouls. And he makes 77%. One of the games against NC State, he hit 14 foul shots and 18 tries. Also led the ACC in free throw attempts. So when you have that happening from your point guard, you've got, you got a lot of respect for Judah Mintz, who's playing in front of a lot of friends and family right here at home. Not to mention his former head coach. Great to see Jim Beheim here working the tournament with you yesterday, Burns. And banks it in. He'll be headed to the line. The big fella looking for a three-point play. But Chris Bell in that spot. It's almost like a spy on a quarterback. You don't double team until you see DJ Burns spin toward the baseline. But Bell gets there late, allows DJ Burns to get into a shooting motion, the contact, and the and one opportunity. 27 points against Duke. He was outstanding in that game. They lost the game. But he was certainly the focus time and time again. For a while, had Duke on the ropes there. Yeah, and OB, even going back to his game yesterday, he had 12 points, but he did it in 10 minutes and 41 seconds. So wasn't on the floor much, but was very productive in the time that he was. The last foul was against Chris Bell. That's two on Bell, so he had to take a seat. As we talked about, he was out of his mind in the first half of the SU win at NC State with 26 points. Copeland has it batted away. Mintz grabs it. As we approach 16 minutes to go in the half. Mintz into that lane, tried for a blind pass, tipped out by NC State. And Syracuse on top, 8-6. And we've got our first media break. Now the great legendary Jim Beheim is in the house. We're working him an awful lot here. Hey, Jimmy Brackets is up for all the tasks <laughs> that come his way. I was born with wings, but psoriasis swooped in to clip them. It crushed my confidence. But no longer will psoriasis get a piece of me. I can love my skin again with Benzelix. Only Benzelix targets and blocks IL-17A plus F to calm inflammation. I can control my plaques and start getting myself back. Benzelix helps adults with moderate to severe psoriasis control plaques to deliver clearer skin fast for results that last. I will give myself back the freedom of shorts. Dare to wear black again, from head to toe. Most people got 100% clear skin. Some after the first dose. Serious side effects, including suicidal thoughts and behavior, infections, and lowered ability to fight them, liver problems, and inflammatory bowel disease have occurred. Tell your doctor if these happen or worsen, or if you've had a vaccine or plan to. Start to get yourself back with Bimzelix. Ask your dermatologist about Bimzelix today. New projects means new project managers. You need to hire. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. When you sponsor a job, you immediately get your short list of quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job criteria. Visit indeed.com slash hire and get started today. You know, he come to my home for summers when it came to helping people. The gecko was born ready. And his parents argued with me. They wanted him to become a doctor. I said, no, he wants to do insurance and he's good at it. Well, sure, he's the gecko, gecko, but I mean, he's my best friend. Like even back in grade school, while others played house, he protected it. Hey, slow down. Geico helps find the right coverage for your car and home. You're not my dad. From cars to home to pets, it's easy to Geico. At the Moonbase McDonald's, where everyone enjoys bold, savory McDonald's sauce, ah. there's a monster coming after the meal! <laughs> Let's go! Quick Dyson 3000, assemble! McDonald's sauce, win the day! <laughs> oh. Try new savory chili McDonald's sauce, only at McDonald's! Ba -da -ba 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 there's something cool about Dell AI realizing the power of what you can do now.
Hey, Mr. Oh. Poacher. Yeah? Tired already? Here, have a Red Bull. And then? Then run faster. Oh. Red Bull gives you wings. Now both head coaches trying to orchestrate some magic and maybe a run to the NCAA tournament. They still both have hopes. NC State with 18 wins, Syracuse at 20 and 11. First ever ACC tournament coaching, head coaching game for Adrian Autry. Kevin Keese now in his seventh year has a lot of experience on the sidelines for the Wolfpack. Taylor gets it to Morcell. Morcell had it knocked away by Mintz and out of play. NC State, a team that rarely turns it over, only about 10 per game. And here comes DJ Horn and the Wolfpack fans are delighted by that. All ACC 13, 17 points per game, 43% from three, and the hip apparently is all right. We'll see just how good. Well, he's not all right, but he's well enough to play, and that is a big factor for the Wolfpack, getting him back onto the floor, if only for the threat that he causes with his ability to shoot it at that 43% you mentioned. Diara. Shot by Morcell, much too long. Copeland batting the rebound himself. Nice job there in the corner. Well, dear Copeland. Well, Horn got back defensively there. And harassing Copeland, knocks it away. So he looks bouncy. Well, he's excited to be on the floor in the ACC tournament, but not as excited as this young man is. I can tell you right now, this is exactly what he was waiting for to come to the ACC tournament in D.C. and see D.J. Horn. Have any of us ever been that excited about anything? <laughs> I'm not sure. Winning the lottery. Copeland bottled up downstairs, got the pass free somehow. Taylor couldn't hit the shot. Amazing he got that pass free. The long jumper will be nothing but net by O'Connell. And O'Connell was super aggressive yesterday. 16 points for him with the absence of Horn. And I'm thinking he wants to try to continue that level of aggressiveness even with DJ Horn on the floor. Starling. A little too much on that one. He's 33% from three-point distance. NC State jumping in front on the triple. Diara will swing it out. Morcell. score when he's 100%. He's not right now with a hit situation. Cost him last night's game, but they won anyway. Diara got it downstairs. Middlebrooks getting in strong and can't connect. Malik Brown clearing the rebound, and these two guys going at it. You see quite, quite a Copeland and DJ Horn. However, before the game, those guys were dapping each other up, hugging, talking to each other. But once you step on this court between these four lines, it doesn't matter how good of friends you are. It's all about the competition. Yeah, I'm sure you were there in your days at Virginia. You played against a really good friend. What what was that like? Oh, yeah. You talking about when I was cooking Randolph Childress out here in the ACC tournament? You, you said, to that? You okay. said yeah, it. Maybe that's what you were referring to. I think to. you're going to get yes. some sort of response, but <laughs> probably on social media would be my guess. You know, Texas about he's, to explode. he's watching. He'll be texting. But show me the lie. That's all. That's all. I got. <laughs> show me the lie. Uh, I know it's all in love. It's all in friendship. <laughs> Unless you're out here, though. He's 90 feet. And once you get out here again, and you've got a lot of friends in this game, we all grew up playing against each other, and we choose our different schools. And your friends off the court, but everybody wants to win in the tournament. Vince got airborne, wasn't exactly sure what to do with it. Syracuse by two. You now the winner faces number two seed Duke tomorrow at 7 p.m. here in Washington. 
Top four seeds get double buys as that one will rattle away. The Orange, a team that can really score when they get it rolling. They get 77 points a game. Last eight or nine games, they've really been piling up the points at 94 against Louisville, at 86 against North Carolina. 11.49 to go here in the first half. 13 to 11, Syracuse leading NC State. This is when it was all love, OB. <laughs> DJ Horn, Claudia Copeland, it was all love there. However, no love lost here between the four lines at the ACC tournament. Bring on the frozen tundra, the grinding gravel, the cratered concrete. Come on, road, do your worst. We'll be at our best. Dura Last Parts, designed to meet or exceed original equipment performance, exclusively at AutoZone. Investment opportunities are everywhere you turn. Do you charge forward? Freeze in your tracks? Or let curiosity light the way? At T. Rowe Price, we ask smart questions about opportunities like advances in healthcare and how these innovations will create a healthier world tomorrow. Better questions, better outcomes. This year in MLB The Show, everyone can unlock their major league dreams and see their careers unfold. Make career-defining plays and decisions that affect every step on your road to the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unlock your potential on The Show. Rated E for everyone. Is KFC's new pizza pizza? Fried chicken? That's our pizza. That's right. It's not pizza. It's Chizza. Only at KFC. With all these hills and honors points, I could stay for free. Mm hmm At the Waldorf Astoria in the Maldives. What about the canopy in Paris? Mm -hmm. Hills and honors, babe. When you want points that can take you anywhere, it matters where you stay. Hilton for the stay. I had to buy something. Where are we supposed to hang it? I don't know. In the attic? <laughs> Enough room to keep your cargo and your secrets safe. You ever just look at them and think, yeah, I'm doing all right. Life's a trip. Make the most of it at Best Western. Here at Papa John's, we know our stuff. So try our garlic epic stuffed crust pizza. Made with our iconic garlic sauce flavor. Mixed with cheese and hand stuffed into that Papa John's original dough. No one stuffs a crust like Papa John's. Feels like tourney time! Two words, March Madness. This is what you dream of. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by T. Rowe Price. Invest with confidence. And in part by AutoZone. Get in the zone. A well, great history at NC State. I mean, Jim Valvano, 1983. Who will ever forget that? Do yourself a favor if you don't know it. Google that run by NC State Jimmy V from the ACC tournament on to the national championship in 83. And during the golden era of the ACC, not only knocking off North Carolina, but also Virginia and Ralph Sampson, ending Ralph Sampson's ACC career, but that may not have been the best NC State national championship. The 1974 team in the in ACC tournament played what is known as the greatest ACC game of all time, beating Maryland for only one team can go to the NCAA tournament. Of course, the Wolfpack went on to win the national championship in 1974. Terrific history. Mints on the attack will draw the foul. Eleven twenty-nine to go, and that'll go against. Oh, look who's here! That will be Derek my Wittenberg. goddamn Wittenberg. How about that? Who still claims that it was a pass? Although <laughs> we know it was a shot. The late Lorenzo Charles. With the nice alley -oop. And it was history. And it was history with Jim Valvano running across the floor looking for someone to hug. 
Great visual there. Copeland launches and swishes it in. But Eric Copeland, only 26% out there, but he was gigantic in one of their victories at NC State this year. 25 points, eight rebounds. And Eric Copeland also was an ACC Player of the Week after his performance against Pittsburgh and was second in the running for sixth man of the year. That's tough leader. That was in the cylinder, so no basket. Let's go to Angel. Guys, as we're about halfway through the first half, going in back to NC State's game last night, Coach Keats was talking about what needed to carry over. He said, I love the way my team was sharing the ball. They had 14 total assists. All but one player had an assist after the night. Right now, they're sitting at one shooting below 30%. So the energy of the ball right now is what they're lacking to start the half. Yeah, Angel, and one of the things, of course, to get an assist, you've got to make the shot. And the problem with that is North Carolina State, four of 14 from the field, only one for seven from beyond the arc. A beautiful find from D.J. Burns, and this time, Jaden Taylor was able to knock down the three ball. Transferred to NC State after two years at Butler. He was a good scorer. He was about 13 points a game, and averaging about 12 for Kevin Keats. But he's been a great scorer as of late, OB, averaging 19 points a game over his last five, 18 in their matchup yesterday. Copeland straight on. Got a good look, but off the back of that iron. Let's see if Horn gets involved offensively. Burns with a touch. What a tough angle, but he makes a lot of those shots. I'll tell you what, he's had a huge impact to start this game. This North Carolina State team is different when DJ Burns is on the floor. You have a post player to be able to play through, but he's so unselfish that you have to pick your poison. Do you double team or do you just allow him to just beat you up one on one? A creative passer, too. Mintz lost it, gets it, and he'll go to the line. Shoot immense with a response. And yeah, looking for a three-point play. Fouled again. We talked about Judah Mintz's ability to be able to get to the free throw line. This time he'll only get one opportunity because he has the concentration through the contact to still be able to knock down the mid-range jumper. But Judah Mintz off to a great start. Eight points for him already. Three of six from the field, two of two at the line. Now you can't say the same thing about DJ Horn. That's his second foul, and he has to go to the bench. And in fact, he is going to go down the tunnel, maybe. Yeah, he is headed toward their locker room. But once you get warmed up, especially when you're dealing with the injury, you get warmed up. You have to stay warmed up. Difficult at this point for DJ Horn to go sit down and try to come back in the start of the second half, most likely with the two fouls. He won't play the remainder of this first. Have to find a way to keep heat on that hip flexor. O'Connell from the elbow can't hit it. Syracuse in transition. Oh, the pass. Brown with the slam, but Mintz with the dime. Yeah. And Judah Mintz puts on the goggles after the pass. Okay, and then a steal by Mintz. Gives it away, Taylor. No foul on that one. Here comes Jaden Taylor on the opposite end of the floor, trying to go end to end. And NC State will clean it up. But I love the consistency. I love the consistency. There was no call on one end for Justin Taylor. There's no call on the other end. Played completely the same way defensively by both big men staying vertical. So no call for either Taylor. But DR there with the second chance points. So DJ Horn, we gave a shot of that. Back to the bench. But again, eight and a half minutes before the break. And the pull up won't fall. Copeland off the mark. Syracuse by three. O'Connell coming in, 29% beyond the three-point line. Burns trying to get a better spot. And he once again gets great bounce and that terrific ability to find the goal. And OB, Malik Brown is a first-team all-defensive player in the ACC. And it's nothing against Malik Brown, but if there was ever a time to use the he's too small signal, yes. that's it. He is too small to guard D.J. Burns. Many are. Yes, this is true. He should not, not feel not alone most. in that. <laughs> right. <laughs> He'll give it to O'Connell for a triple. Got it. Michael O'Connell on target. And NC State on a 7 nothing run. But Adrian Autry having a conversation with Cup. When you leave, as we watch Judah Mintz, 
getting out in transition. You see the point guard eyes as he drops the dime to Malik Brown, who drops the hammer. And of course, Judah Mint showing off his goggles on the way back down the floor. This looks like an actual farm. It looks cute on the app. <laughs> Meanwhile, at a Verbo, <laughs> when other vacation rentals aren't what they're cracked up to be, try one where you know what you'll get. Discover customer service. This is Maya. Oh, hi, Maya. You robots are sounding more human every day. At Discover, everyone can talk to a human representative. All right, prove it. Wait, are you a robot? 24-7 U.S.-based customer service. How would I prove that I'm not? <laughs> Nothing scary about Energizer Ultimate Lithium. The number one longest-lasting AA battery. Don't just take classes, take charge. Start your comeback today at purdueglobal.edu. Safely removes poor gunk, just like that. The number one trusted blackhead remover, BRA. It all starts with a Chevy truck. Chevy Silverado with the Turbo Max engine and best in class standard torque and Chevy Silverado HD with up to 14 available camera views. Do more in a Chevy truck. Get yours now. Get $5,000 total value on Silverado LTZ and High Country models when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Or during Chevy truck season, get as low as 0.9% financing in all 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. See your Carolina Chevy dealers. Tom and Dallin in studio here. Patriot League, let's keep it in upstate New York. Colgate looking for their fifth straight tournament. Jalen Cox with a beautiful crossover, tight layup at the rim. Great early finish. Up 14 in total control. Back to OBCA. And the Angel. Michael Cuff making a tremendous mistake defensively as you see him go after a basketball that he should not do. 7.37 to go before the break. And Starling will bring it up now for Syracuse. And among their victories this season, the two over NC State. So trying to make it three this season. They beat the Wolfpack by four at NC State by 12 inside the dome. Well, we, we saw Adrian Autry getting upset at one of his defenders giving up the three as we see the travel by Taylor as we get an opportunity to go back and look Michael Cuff as you watch him trying to go after the basketball when you have a great passer like DJ Burns you cannot gamble Burns will make you pay for it each and every time as he does O'Connell knocks down the three ball but look at Adrian Autry look at coach he is heated right now OB <laughs> waiting Taylor on the other end, knocked away by Mintz to prevent a dunk. Yeah, he was heated all right. He was also caught in Corey's cone, <laughs> which is another place you really never want to be. Well, I can tell you right now, there's a, his mentor is here in the building watching that, and I'm certain he was proud of Adrian Autry for making sure to meet up on the floor to let him know his displeasure in the defensive gamble that did not pay off. So kept the foot down, but the shot won't drop. Mintz charging out of there. Taylor taking a lane with that left hand. No. Brown tried to scoop it up. Loose ball again and taken in by Starling. And Syracuse will set it up. Copeland. Shot clock down to seven. Starling from the elbow. Got it. And that's been the difference in my opinion, OB. 
in this Syracuse team in the second half of the season. J.J. Starling has had 15 consecutive games in double figures. He was not looking to be aggressive early, but he has found his offense complimenting Judah Mitch in that backcourt. D.J. Burns trying to zip the pass inside and a whistle. And Adrian Autry talking to his team, letting them know they have to either decide whether to come fully with the double team. Well, coming up on Sunday, Selection Sunday. It all starts at 6. Sports Center and ESPN reaching the guys. Look at the men's field of 68 as the brackets are announced. Followed by bracketology, breakdowns of each region. At 8, the women's field is revealed with bracketology as well. And a complete breakdown immediately following. And DJ Horn back on the floor playing with those two fouls. Had a good look off of the DJ Burns five. Nifty spin there by Copeland. Couldn't get the basket, but he'll be headed to the line. But here Copeland, the sophomore from Philly. And fouled on the play by Jaden Taylor, who picks up number one. Yeah, good to see Horn back on. And one of the things for Kevin Keats, it's, it's difficult but once he gets going to sit him down. When you're dealing with the hip flexor, now you're talking about getting stiff. And now try to be able to try to come back and play in the second half would be, you know, virtually impossible if you do tighten up. So I respect Kevin Keats getting him back on the floor, but also trusting his fifth year guard to make sure he doesn't pick up that third foul. Have you ever played with anything like that? I have. I, I've had pretty much every injury you can imagine. <laughs> so and I work with the hip flexor daily right now. Burns at the line. Getting a little bit closer, a little far away. A oh, big rebound by Diar. Got it to O'Connell on the low block for two. And that was all Muhammad Diara. And if you look at what has been the issue for the Orange throughout this season, they've been out rebounded by 6.6 .6 rebounds a game in ACC play. That is where they struggle. We talked about they don't have the largest front line in the size to match up with NC State. Tell you what, there's a lot of Orange in this building. The the orange travel. Yeah, they certainly do. The orange travel well. And here for the ACC tournament, looking for a bit of a magic carpet ride. Mintz had it knocked away. Still a loose ball. He hits the deck, kept the dribble. He'll heave it up there. And it was a shot clock violation. He did not get up in time anyway. Claudia Copeland doing a great job keeping Judah Mintz away from the official. And, and right now, Judah Mintz fortunate. Quadir Copeland may have saved him from a technical foul on that possession. Now playing with a lot of fire. The officials are Roger Ayers, Tony Henderson, and Jamel Spearman. Yeah, Tony Henderson was, was very lenient on that possession. Give Tony a lot of credit because it would have been easy to hit you to miss with a technical foul on that. O'Connell on the dribble. Taylor trying that baseline, oh tough God. sledding underneath, but he made the shot. That was a brutally tough shot. Yeah, and Taylor not just a shooter, showing off his ability to attack the basket and finish through contact. So NC State by two. We're going back and forth and back and forth. Might be that way all night here in Washington. We hope so, right, OB? Absolutely. Copeland, seven to shoot it. Working on Marcel, now a double. Taylor came over to help. Shot clock is down to one. Mintz has to get it up. Can't hit it. And Syracuse knocked it out on Taylor's hand. Judah Mintz hesitated on that shot. Looking at the shot clock, when you know you got to get a shot up, that's a confident time to be able to shoot it. There's nothing else for you to do. Just catch it and shoot it, knowing that shot clock is down under three seconds. So the Wolfpack with the ball up by two. They had dropped four in a row before their win yesterday over Louisville. And turnovers were such a big part of that. It absolutely was. On the drive. And it's scooped up and in by J.J. Starling. Mentioning a 26 against NC State. One of the wins at 22 against Miami. 23 against North Carolina. Syracuse buckling down defensively. Mintz gives it up. Here's Starling from the corner. They'll get a second chance. Starling can't finish. On the run. Nice foul. Taylor will draw the foul. 324 to go before the break. Here at Capital One, second round of the ACC tournament. 
ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Principal. Let our expertise round out yours. doing now that he's not calling March Madness. Oh, he's keeping busy. Oh, very busy. And it's a buzzer beater. Man. Chuck has no fees or minimums on his Capital One checking account. But does he remember his pen? Consecutive numbers? Bad call, Chuck. It's a swish. All sync. Hello, friend. You need a hobby. Nance goes hard to the paints. The likeness is uncanny. <laughs> At Ace, your backyard is right in our backyard. So when you need to feed your grass, remove the weeds, or wrangle those leaves, go to the best place that delivers on top brands like Ego, Toro, Steel, and Scott's. No warehouse store can match the convenience of your neighborhood Ace. Stop on by or order online and we'll have it ready for pickup in 15 minutes. Or we'll deliver it the same day. And right now, get a $25 bonus reward when you spend $150 on Scott's products. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. With Verizon Business Unlimited, I get 5G, truly unlimited data, and unlimited hotspot data. So no matter what, I'm running this kitchen. Make the switch. It's your business. It's your Verizon. This is your invitation to experience the elevation of electrification and some of the best offers of the year on select models at the Invitation to Lexus sales event. Can I get a Virginia? A what? Chicken egg? Morning. Is there a green one? Ah. Uh. Happening? Yes. Hey, hey, Kev, Kev. Kev. Any response to the trade rumors we keep hearing about? Oh, we talking about moving? Not the trade. Not the trade. We talking about moving. No, thank you. Oh, uh, you, you could use Open Door. Sell your house directly to them. It's easy. I guess we're moving. Kev, 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 Kev. What's up? That's Tom. I'm Dallin from Halftime. We will recap the ACC games from earlier in the day. Also, maybe a little quick look at Pitt and Wake Forest in tomorrow's 4-5 matchup. Also, Big 12 under, in, in action, which should highlights there. Here, tight one. Clearly tied yeah, up. Absolutely. Keep going into DJ Burns. Let him pass. Let him play. He's playing with tremendous quickness tonight. They've got to do a better job at NC State, though, keeping Syracuse out of the paint. A lot of pull-ups. They're a little too open. The dancing bear, always a problem. So is CA and OB. Back to you. <laughs> You ain't lying, Dallin. Thank you. Coach Crean, thank you very much. See you guys at halftime. And for more on Mohamed Diara, the big junior from France, let's toss it over to Angel. As every team has mentioned the importance of nutrition and refueling during this tournament, but those who are also recognizing Ramadan for the next month are put in an even more unique situation. NC State's Mohamed Diara actually is currently fasting, which means he will not eat from sun up to sun down. The team's dietitian, Jesse McGinley, stated that he had a big meal last night, ate around 5.45 this morning and won't eat or drink anything that's including water until sunset in DC which was marked at 714 tonight they started pushing fluids and food during the time out of this game so that's something to keep your mind on how he's finding that energy for tonight's game well Angel I can remember playing against a guy who DJ Burns has taken a lot of his footwork from by the name of Akeem Olajuwon who also used to observe Ramadan and I can tell you that OB he was just as good during Ramadan <laughs> as he was any other time. He was spectacular. Always, always. NC State with the ball here and on top by two. Coming down the home stretch of the first half. Here's Diara with it. As he puts it to the deck. Hunting a shot here off the fake. You see the difference for Malik Brown, an elite defender, and how you take on someone like the R in comparison to how he has to guard DJ Burns. And the difference in the pressure that DJ Burns puts on your defense. Marcel will pick up his first foul. And DJ Burns, who's played more minutes already in this first half tonight than he did in the entire game yesterday, has had a huge impact. Nine points, two assists already. More importantly, zero turnovers. 
Mintz left alone to fire it up there. That's not a good idea. And that's what Coach Kareem was talking about in studio. That's too easy for Judah Mintz. That's, you know, you get him to 16, 17 feet. That's a layup for Judah Mintz to be able to knock that down with no defense. Sophomore from Fort Washington, Maryland. Good first half at 11. Middlebrooks will hand it off for Taylor. Taylor trying to shred the D, going in strong. He's made a couple of really tough buckets. He absolutely has, but a lot of that has to do with the fact that outside of Malik Brown, there's not much rim protection for the Orange. Justin Taylor at six foot six, trying to man the post in there. And Jaden Taylor, not concerned about Justin Taylor, who was, of course, a wing coming out of high school, trying to block his shot. NC State holding off Louisville and a stunning performance by Sky Clark. 36 points yesterday. 94-85 victory for the pack to advance. And that was without their top scorer, DJ Horn. And they iced the win with 11 foul shots in the last three minutes. Made a ton of foul shots. Yeah, they absolutely did. It was this young man, Casey Morsell, who made 13 for 13. And this time he goes to the tough bucket. The turnaround over great defense by Korea Copeland. 25 against Louisville for him. He was a big star in NC State with a 33-29 lead. Coming up on a minute to go before halftime. They hand off for Mintz. Now Starling. Starling with a pull-up pop. And drains that one to triple. Obi, you mentioned in the open, J.J. Starling averaging 19 and a half points a game versus NC State. This is a team that he has a lot of confidence playing against, and a lot of that has to do with you take your best defender and you normally put him on Judah Mintz. So he's getting to play against the second best defender, and he's had his way. Marcel looking to make a move on the spin. Copeland got a hand on it to follow, and a foul against Syracuse. 38.7 left in the half. You see some great battles. Casey Morsell, Quadia Copeland going at it. Morsell winning this battle, going to the step back. And then J.J. Starling, rhythm dribble off the screen and roll action, knocking down a three ball. He's been a different player as far as his confidence shooting the basketball during the last half of the season. Malik Brown just picked up foul number two. So he's going to sit here for the rest of the half. Peter Carey, 6'11", sophomore, in for the first time out of Sunderland, Massachusetts. Middlebrooks at the line. The junior transfer from Clemson. And we will see the Tigers later on tonight against Boston College. Yeah. And you'll see Jack Clark, who was a member of the North Carolina State Wolfpack last year. So there's been rumored that there was actually a trade between the two teams. <laughs> right. Middlebrooks for Jack Clark straight up. Copeland tried to dart a pass inside and stole it away. The R comes up with it. 12 seconds before halftime, 12.3, and a timeout to set up a shot here for NC State. Leading Syracuse here, 35 to 32 in round two. Every kiss begins with K. Hey, coming up tonight, 11.30 Eastern on the ACC Network, the Nothing But Net crew will have a complete breakdown of today's second round ACC tournament games. Some great action earlier today. Florida State, 86-76 over Virginia Tech. Wake Forest, a must win for Wake as the number five seed knocking off Notre Dame, 72-59. Last seconds of the half. The switch up by Syracuse going to the zone out of the timeout. They want Burns to touch it, flips it up there, and rolls off the 10. And that's the last shot of the half. NC State will head to the locker room, leading Syracuse here in round 2, 35-32. I love eight, but Jaden Taylor led them with 10. As we are underway here in the second half, NC State with the ball. Syracuse starting in the zone defensively, OB, to start this second half. Over the top, missed. Oh, and a pretty catch and bucket. And you are very familiar with this, as of course you're a Syracuse alum. The zone oftentimes forces a lot of turnovers. Syracuse has been notorious for leading the league in steals with under Jim Beheim when they were playing the zone. Adrian Autry now going to the zone here to start this second half after they have two back-to-back -back turnovers. 
for NC State, who only had two in the first half. Mm -hmm. And usually do a great job of holding on to the ball. So Syracuse within one. And again, the winner to take on the two seed, the Duke Blue Devils. We've got the double bye to get into the quarterfinals. Bell on target. Now he was in foul trouble. Sent a huge chunk of the first half. But that's his role. He's the shooter on this team in great execution to get him a look early. Missed the final 16 minutes of that first half, but knocked down his first three here. So a great sign for the Orange there. He'll jump in. And a whistle here with 18.52 to go, second half. Give a look at the shot chart on DJ Burns, the 6'9 grad. He was super efficient in the first half, OB, scoring and also dishing. North Carolina State is a much better team when they get the basketball in the hand of DJ Burns, and more importantly, when he's able to stay on the floor and out of foul trouble. That incidentally was foul number three on Chris Bell. And DJ Horn back in for the Wolfpack. He missed last night's game because of a hip issue. He was in and out of the lineup in the first half of this one, did not start for the Wolfpack. Mintz with a pull up, drains it. So he's just getting to a spot, OB. He's so athletic. Once he gets to a spot, he's going to elevate. There's nothing you can do as a defender if you don't get to the basketball when he's on the ground. He has 15 points. He's hit a bunch of shots just like that. Horn with a pull up at the elbow, and that'll go. Good sign for the Wolfpack to see him hit a jump shot, his first basket. And I like the way Kevin Keyes didn't wait nearly as long in within the first two minutes of this second half. Mintz driving, and they are going up hard with a rejection. Let's check in with Angel. Coach Autry has to be pleased with how his team is playing and starting off the second half. He told me earlier, he said, we have to do a better job of taking care of the ball. They had seven turnovers in the first half. He said, right now, we're not taking great shots. We have to make sure we're connected. Right now, we're seeing that in the second half. And Angel, for you as a former point guard, you can only imagine how much that drives Adrian Autry crazy as a former point guard himself. You want to be the floor general. You want to make sure that everybody is in the right place and with the right pace. Taylor Pulls up and pops. Diara had position and he will draw the foul. The 6'10 junior gets hit. Tied at 39. And that foul will go against Justin Taylor, number two. 1992 Big East Tournament champion as a player. I'm surprised at how many times I've referred to him as Adrian Archery throughout this game. Instead of Red. Instead of Red, because I know him as Red, of course, and know him from that 1992 team where he, alongside Archbishop Carroll alum, Lawrence Moten, won that 1992 Big East tournament. Lawrence Moten, of course, leaving as the Big East all-time leading scorer, who was, happens to be from the D.C. area. You know your D.C. better than anyone I've ever met. And so many great players who come from here. So many, so many great players coming from this area, OB, including we talk Syracuse, the Pearl. No, 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 I'm sorry, not, not Pearl, Sherman Douglas. All-time leading assist in the NCAA when he left Syracuse program. Many great Syracuse players under Jim Beheim, of course. On the move, Starling. Taylor twisted that pass inside, but a shot clock will fire off here. So that'll go back over to NC State. Roger Ayers underneath the basket on that call, but his least favorite call in the game, OB, is a shot clock violation. Because Roger Ayers refuses to touch the top of his hair. <laughs> it is not going to happen. <laughs> By the way, does anybody wear better shoes in all of college basketball than Roger does? It's not just the shoes. It's the entire outfit. He gives me a rundown Burns. every game. Off the window, no. The came crashing in. Still a loose ball and a wild scramble for it in the lane there. 17.04 to go. 41 to 39. Here's my guy. Stay sharp. It's Roger Ayers. And again, of course, he's he's got his traditional outfit on as you see DJ Burns going to the basket. Unable to finish it, but the scrum underneath trying to get the loose ball. NC State off the inbounds. Morcell 
Great interior passing, and Burns will knock it down. Great recognition by Diara, though, to know that as the help comes over, DJ Burns is going to be able to seal his defender and get the easy layup. DJ with 11. Mintz at the foul line. Can't drain that one. And Diara with the rebound. NC State did not come to Washington, D.C., a hot team. They had lost four straight, but played very well against Louisville. Big scoring game as they got 94. And they're trying to make it two for two. Batted away by Mintz. Shot clock down to seven. Right back to Taylor. Now Burns on a high post. Trying to spin and a lot of iron, but it won't drop. He wins it back. Somehow, a second effort and switched in by Taylor. That was a crazy possession. It was a crazy possession. However, it shows you the great hands of DJ Burns. He was off balance, has got a shot up on the glass, but was unable to corral the offensive rebound. But getting his hands on it allowed Jane Taylor to find the three. And that three that Taylor knocks down sends the Wolf back on a 9-0 run. We were made to help you book it in minutes. When it comes to the love of Sargento Real Natural Cheese, We all belong together. Sargento, we're real cheese people. Reducing blur and glare. Clearing away rain at just the right angle. Bosch Night Performance Wiper Blades are so adapted to the dangers of driving on stormy nights. It's almost as if those who drive with them are too. You ever seen a night like this? Oh, I see all kinds of things. Night vision has evolved. Bosch Night Performance Wiper Blade. Here at Papa John's, we know our stuff. So try our garlic epic stuffed crust pizza. Made with our iconic garlic sauce flavor. Mixed with cheese and hand stuffed into that Papa John's original dough. No one stuffs a crust like Papa John's. With Verizon Business Unlimited, I get 5G, truly unlimited data, and unlimited hotspot data. So no matter what, I'm running this kitchen. Make the switch. It's your business. It's your Verizon. ProPlan is always advancing with game-changing formulas that promote mental sharpness and help extend lives. See what nutrition can do. Purina ProPlan. Always advancing. You, Jimmy's John, still waking up early, slicing veggies and meats by hand? Pathetic. Only details that matter are green. Real dough, not that fresh baked stuff. It is good bread. Get that away from my money. Fresh baked bread at Jimmy John's. This is your invitation to experience the exhilaration of the Lexus Performance Line and some of the best offers of the year on select models at the Invitation to Lexus sales event. Forward to the battles, but you also appreciate the mutual respect. Take all in when you're done playing. I say that I played against one of the best players that ever played this game. Saturday primetime, Warriors Lakers on ABC. The great Damatha Catholic High School, the standard of high school basketball, not just in the DMV, but throughout the country. What Morgan Wooten created, and of course, North Carolina State legends. Derek Wittenberg, Sidney Lowe, also hailing from the Math the Catholic. OB, one of the best to ever do it. Jim Beheim yesterday said that Morgan Wooten was one of the best coaches ever, regardless of high school, college, NBA. Mm. He was one of the best coaches of all time. Wow, what a tribute. So many great players coming out of that program. And at the prep level, wild pass there, but it'll be tipped out of play. 15.45 to go. And we've got a timeout. 46 to 39. That is PJ Hall, the Clemson star, about to enter the fray of the ACC tournament, taking up Boston College at 9:30 on ESPNU. You are perfect somewhere. Today, we accomplished nothing. 
I mean it. Not a thing. And it was kind of everything. Life's a trip. Make the most of it at Best Western. Here at Papa John's, we know our stuff. So try our garlic epic stuffed crust pizza. Made with our iconic garlic sauce flavor. Mixed with cheese and hand stuffed into that Papa John's original dough. No one stuffs a crust like Papa John's. And we're back with March Sadness. And the team is looking down the barrel of a 455 meeting. Can they turn it around and make this meeting an email? Jones is taking the ball and running with it. She's asking Grammarly to write the first draft of an email. What a play. Grammarly is an AI writing partner that helps you make your point. She's got a clear shot and it's good. Bazinga! It's a slam dunk. The meeting's canceled. They'll go home champions. Grammarly for business. When you don't want to take a vacation from working out, it matters where you stay. Peloton bikes are at most hotels in the Hilton family. Hilton for the stay. This is your invitation to experience the versatility of the Lexus line of SUVs and some of the best offers of the year on select models at the Invitation to Lexus sales event. This year in MLB The Show, everyone can unlock their major league dreams and see their careers unfold. Make career-defining plays and decisions that affect every step on your road to the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unlock your potential. Own this show. Rated E for everyone. Bring on the frozen tundra, the grinding gravel, the cratered concrete. Come on, road. Do your worst. We'll be at our best. Dura Last Parts. Designed to meet or exceed original equipment performance. Exclusively at AutoZone. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Principal. Let our expertise round out yours. Syracuse and NC State toe to toe. Here in round number two, our first of the night session. Dave O'Brien alongside Corey Alexander and Angel Gray. What are your thoughts so far about the tournament? Wake Forest with a huge win today as far as their chances for the NCAA tournament. And a necessary win to set up what will be an absolute battle tomorrow with the Pitt Panthers in that 4-5 matchup as J.J. Starling's able to get to the mid-range. Adrian Archery now coming back man-to-man -man out of the timeout. NC State figured out their way through that zone. DJ Horn trying to get free. Airborne knocks it down. We well, haven't heard much from him in this game. He came in averaging 17 with a bunch of big games. Four points. Starling will slice in. Bit of a wild shot and a tie up on the play and a whistle. So we'll give you a look at the tickets punched so far. As we are in round two of the ACC tournament. Among those, James Madison. St. Mary's with a huge win over Gonzaga last night in the WCC championship. Yeah, a great win for the Gales and also Longwood. So two Virginia teams, Longwood and James Madison, already punching their tickets. Of course, you know, I always got to keep up with my you are a state. You are the governor. <laughs> or, or will be someday. I have no doubt you'll get out the vote. Starling and black from behind by Taylor. A shut down for the Wolfpack. We'll lead it 48 41. Horn will launch way downtown, but too strong. But another sense of rebound, OB. That's been the difference now. 17 second chance points yeah. for the Wolfpack in this game. Diara, 12 rebounds, six of those, to your point, offensive rebounds. Yeah, he's been all over the glass. But we talk about the smaller front line of the orange. Line driver by Bell won't fall. And now the Wolfpack starting to think about really taking control of this thing at the 14 minute mark. Horn for Burns. And a whistle there. And another foul. Syracuse picks up another foul. This one on Copeland is second. And their third team foul. 
Obi, what Syracuse has allowed to happen without having to attack DJ Burns offensively, they'd allow him to stay on the floor. And we know that NC State's a different team when he's on the floor, but he hasn't had to do much on the defensive end, allowing him to save his energy for what he does so well offensively. The big gets it down to the other. Low pass from Rossell. Shot clock is at five. And a deflection here. That was with 4.3 on the shot clock. And you knew DJ Burns has to has something to say to Mo DR. Shoot the basketball. He dropped him a dime. DR threw it out to the corner in comparison to going up strong and dunking that. I knew DJ was going to have words for him. Shot clock reset to 20. DR flipped up and hung on the iron for the longest time. Syracuse wants to run. Mintz on the attack. Can't finish that. NC State got back quickly defensively. OB, DJ Horn did not realize that it was a, that they had a 14 second reset of the shot clock. But you see, DJ Burns does realize that Mo DR needs to shoot the basketball when he drops him a dime. He wants him to go up strong and finish that. Copeland, that spits free right to Horn. NC State by nine. E.J. Horn looking for room to operate. It's partially blocked. Burns comes away with it, though. He'll get a chance at it. That'll be switched in by Taylor. Offensive rebound. Kick out for three. Always the best time to shoot the three. The entire defense is in the paint trying to come away with the rebound. They don't get it. D.J. Burns, an elite-level passer, knocks, finds Jane Taylor, knocks down the three ball. Look at this run, 16-2 to two over the last six minutes. the theft. Born to Taylor, back to Horn, and he'll land in. On a big time fast break, that'll bring in a timeout Syracuse. NC State minced a little bit, shaken up, 55-41 the pack. We're Row, a healthcare company helping hundreds of thousands of people lose weight. And we're now offering treatment with GLP-1s, the revolutionary weight loss medications everyone is talking about. With Roe, get the online coaching and care you need to lose 15 to 20% of your body weight with one weekly shot. Losing 15 to 20% of your body weight is possible with Roe. Get started at roco slash lose 20. Well, Judah Mintz upset moments ago after there was no foul called here looked like there was plenty of contact but his reaction after that he was really upset obviously shaken up but then complaining to an official an unsportsmanlike technical as he complained to Tony Henderson who teed him up but if we go back to the first half Tony Henderson was very lenient with Judah Mintz on a possession where Judah Mintz actually went back in the direction of Tony Henderson. Claudia Copeland stepped in to keep him away from getting that technical yep. foul. Tony Henderson had had enough, and of course, you cannot show up an official, especially with everyone watching the team on the bench. And then Judah Mintz clearly frustrated, and rightfully so, however, that's a possession of a play where he has to keep his cool because now you give NC State an opportunity to put points on the board at the free throw line and the basketball back. And they get the ball as well. 82% DJ Horn missing the first one. But this game in the process of flipping big time in the Wolfpack's favor. Horn making one of two. And Mintz continues to get some treatment. Obviously upset, but I think you make a great point about the official gave him room in the first half. And, and again, if not for the incident in the first half, Tony Henderson may have walked away. I mean, he understands the frustration. I mean, the officials miss calls. It happens. Horn with the theft. Horn will dunk it. A giant swing here in the last three or four minutes. I'm going to say the hip flexor feels pretty good for DJ Horn right now. <laughs> Entry pass inside for Brown and two. 58-43. That snapped a 12-0 run. 
Here's Taylor to swoop in, and now the Pack making all kinds of shots. I'll tell you what, with this backcourt, the way they're playing right now, this NC State team is dangerous. Bell off the fake, a three on the way, but no. Horn up ahead for Marcel. Even more dangerous when this guy has the basketball in his hand. Burns on the baseline. Taps his own miss. The Orange come away. They need a long run. Copeland off to Bell. Bell will switch in the triple. He's the one guy that the Orange have been able to rely on to knock down threes consistently throughout this year. They're going to need a lot more of that now, trailing by 14 after North Carolina State has dominated the offensive glass and shared the basketball extremely well. Syracuse needs a lot more of that. Remember, though, Bell hit eight threes and a half against NC State earlier this winter. The swing for Marcel. Around and out, one and done. Another great look and great find from D.J. Burns. Copeland, long strides in there for a basket. And now Syracuse kind of picking themselves up off the deck here. They absolutely are, and they're following the lead of Claudia Copeland, who is the energizer. He's the guy that brings the vocal leadership for the Orange. And they've gotten it back to 12. Judah Mintz on the bench as he's watched Claudia Copeland get his team back in the game. So many 5 nothing run here. DJ Horn, yeah, showing the bounce. He's been known for all season long. Nice little run here for the Wolfpack, trying to get back in this thing. Plenty of time, 10.43 to go. Okay, George, this one's for the prize. Intenso. No, cool, definitely iced. Nespresso, what else? trouble with generalized myasthenia gravis. But the picture started changing when I started on VivGuard. VivGuard is for adults with generalized myasthenia gravis who are anti-ACHR antibody positive. In a clinical trial, VivGuard significantly improved most participants' ability to do daily activities when added to their current GMG treatment. Most participants taking VivGuard also had less muscle weakness. And your VivGuard treatment schedule is designed just for you. In a clinical study, the most common side effects included urinary and respiratory tract infections and headache. VivGuard may increase the risk of infection. Tell your doctor if you have a history of infections or symptoms of an infection. VivGuard can cause allergic reactions. Available as VivGuard for IV infusion and also as VivGuard Hytrulo for subcutaneous injection. Additional side effects for VivGuard Hytrulo may include injection site reactions. Talk to your neurologist about VivGuard. Can Sugar Ray Leonard do everyday tasks wearing boxing gloves? Happy birthday. And now putting on his new ArchFit Skechers Slip-Ins. You just step in and go with comfort that will knock you out. Try new ArchFit hands-free Skechers Slip-Ins. Now, ADT professionally installs Google Nest products. Cool. You're all set. Arm the system, we should go. When the most trusted name in home security adds the intelligence of Google, you have a home with no worries. Brought to you by ADT. Hey, Kev, Kev, any Kev, response Kev. to the trade rumors we keep hearing about? Oh, we, we talking about moving? Not the trade. Not the trade. We talking about moving. No thank you. Uh, you, you could use Open Door. Sell your house directly to them. It's easy. I guess we're moving. Ugh, uh, when is my allergy spray going to kick in? You need Astapro. Astapro? It's faster, bro. Eight times faster than Flonase. It's faster, bro. It's faster, bro. It's faster, bro. It's, faster, bro. it's mom to you. Astapro starts working in 30 minutes. Astapro and go. You're watching ESPN's Champ Week presented by Principal. This is the ACC Men's Basketball Tournament presented by T. Rowe Price. Well, the top four seeds waiting in the wings. North Carolina, Pitt, Duke, and Virginia. 
North Carolina number one, Duke number two, Virginia number three, Pitt number four. North Carolina back in action at noon tomorrow against Florida State. OB, I love Tuesday and Wednesday of the ACC tournament, but it's a different energy on Thursday. When the big boys come in, it is a completely different energy. And of course, the followings for those top four seeds will tear the roof off this building. It'll be the quarterfinals here at Capital One Arena. Shot clock to six. Diara. That's going to be an offensive as Bell went down. He took the hit. Diara's first foul. Now, one thing I am concerned about, OB, is if my young guy, when he enters the building tomorrow, will Armando be wearing this shower cap? <laughs> that is a concern. I'm sure he's he's watching, and I am concerned about my boy with the shower cap on. I'm not quite sure how that happened. Well, I, th I can guess how it happened. He was ready. He was preparing for the champagne. And he was prepared. I give him credit for that. <laughs> Bell straight on. Six it, a two-pointer. Just like that. It's a 10-point game, OB. NC State made a tremendous run. However, the Orange have really been inspired since the technical foul from Judah Mitch. Even though Mitch is on the bench, Claudia Copeland has come in and taken over. Wissell shut down in the paint. O'Connell got a good look. He's a dangerous shooter when he gets warmed up. Big basket from O'Connell really to stop a little bit of the momentum from the Orange as Joe Demitz steps back to the scores table ready to check back into this one. So as Jaden Taylor has played a fine game and hit 28 against Pittsburgh last weekend. Copeland trying to work it too far underneath and the pass comes free to the Wolfpack. O'Connell will swing it. Marcel coming off 25. They double up on him. Here's O'Connell again. Shot clock at 14. DJ Horn did not score in the first half. He has 11 in the second half. That hip's feeling better. Another shot from him. And knocks back at three. Obi, I believe he used the first half to warm up. Uh, he's here now. I, I believe he has arrived. DJ has made his presence felt. That's a traveling violation. No basket. Red Autry not happy. NC State back up 66 to 50. Judah Mintz checking out the game after getting hit in the face. No call. Gets the technical foul. Unsportsmanlike. But now checks back into the game. With his team trailing by 16, a quick 6-0 run by the Wolfpack. So for the moment, that has quieted the Orange faithful. O'Connell, the pass to Nobles, tough catch, lost it. Mintz goes down hard. A free basketball, Marcel off to Middlebrooks. And poked from behind and out of bounds. NC State will have possession. Now they're going to head to the monitor. 8.25 to go. Obi, you mentioned Syracuse still in contention for an NCAA at large bid. This is a game that they need to try to keep those hopes alive. And we're seeing guys diving on the floor. But their energy and their effort has been met and exceeded by the Wolfpack in this game. Coach Keats last night said this is a team not just playing dangerous as you referred to earlier Corey but desperate he said Joel Lenardi said four ACC teams are getting in that means 11 teams are in this predicament where they need the tournament to win he said this is a team that understands what they need to do together and so trying to make sure that they're still in that conversation once this tournament is over guys by the way they had reset the shot clock we weren't supposed to do that and reset it to three after they did that. So that's why they went to the monitor. Yeah, they didn't feel as though Syracuse ever gained possession, so no shot clock reset. Inbound Millbrooks and will slam it down. Emphatically back to 18 here for NC State. But that can't happen. Three seconds remaining. The first thing you have to do is protect the basket. You give up a wide open dunk. So the Wolfpack putting a stranglehold on this one. Mintz bodied up by Middlebrooks who commits the foul on the baseline. 
his first personal. And there's really nothing complicated. It's a simple, you just switch. Stay on the inside. Claudia Copeland either doesn't hear the switch call from Malik Brown or doesn't pay attention to it, but leaves Ben Middlebrooks wide open to catch and finish. DJ Horn, who's had a great second half with 14 points, did not score in the first half. He's been a man here in the second half of the pack. Interior passing inside from Malik Brown. But of course, Syracuse cannot afford to be trading baskets here with the Wolfpack with 7.44 to go. NC State leading at 68-52 and going to take a little time off the clock. O'Connell. Middlebrook's up to set a screen. Morcel. Here's Taylor. Short. Another offensive rebound for the pack. Taylor kept that one alive. O'Connell bouncing from Middlebrooks. Here's Taylor open. He missed a couple on that possession. Just over seven minutes to go. Judah Mintz, no. And Marcel with a rebound. NC State, the number 10 seed, looking to knock off the number seven here tonight and move into the quarterfinal round. The Duke Blue Devils, the number two seed, awaiting the winner at seven tomorrow in the quarterfinals. Shot clock a factor now, down to three. Middlebrooks lost the handle on it. Coming up tonight after this game, Boston College and Clemson, number 11 and number six. Here's Marcel on the other end, a slam it. How often have we seen that from the Wolfpack throughout this game? Kevin Keats' squad, 16 and five when they win the turnover battle. Two and nine when they tie or lose that battle. That was the 16th turnover for Syracuse to only six for the Wolfpack. And turned over here, 5.59 to go. Well, this was actually a close game six or seven minutes ago. It is no longer. The Wolfpack is rolling in Washington. You're such a good listener, Thomas. Makes me feel so special. If you don't mind if you could. This makes me feel really special too because you know Discover's giving me cash back on debit, not just credit. Discover gives cash back on debit to everyone. Hey, everybody. Introducing Discover Cashback oh. Debit. Roll up to Easter with fast and easy drive up. You wanna see? Let's go. Doing this unnaturally. I'm gonna be a fantasy. Easy like one, two, three. Yes, yeah, easy like. Woo! Drive up is fast, easy, and always free. Only at Target. Is KFC's new pizza pizza? Fried chicken? That's not pizza. That's right. It's not pizza. It's pizza. Only at KFC. Hey, can I get a Virginia? A what? Monikin. Hi, Kim, please. Me? The green one? Ah. Uh. Yes. When you're great, your game does the talk. In the ACC, our speech volume. Three of the last eight NCAA championships. 99 NCAA tournament wins since 2015. Eight NCAA titles in the last 22 years. Six of the top 30 winningest programs in Division I, most of any conference. It's not bragging if it's true. Greatness is what we do. The ACC accomplished greatness. Our crew services cars from bumper to bumper. Oil change, tire rotations, repairs. Choices. In North Carolina, we have none when it comes to energy. Duke Energy's monopoly wants to build more dirty gas plants instead of solar. Why? because they make more money. And Duke Energy always puts profits over people. It all starts with a Chevy truck. Chevy Silverado with the Turbo Max engine and best-in-class standard torque. And Chevy Silverado HD with up to 14 available camera views. 
do more in a Chevy truck. Get yours now. Get $5,000 total value on Silverado LTZ and High Country models when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Or during Chevy truck season, get as low as 0.9% financing in all 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. See your Carolina Chevy dealers. The first game has been a battle, fun to cover, but how about the second evening game? We got top 10 scoring big men. Quentin Post coming off a 30 and 13 game. PJ Hall, third in the AC in ACC in scoring. First team all ACC as well. It's gonna be a battle of the bigs. I cannot wait to see our second game tonight and what that is gonna look like in the paint, guys. Angel, when you talk with the Boston College faithful, they told you that the game is going to have to be what? Angel speechless. <laughs> Under six minutes to go here. Post, by the way, pretty much personally ended the season of Miami Hurricanes with that performance. Copeland. Looked like he got bottled up and he made the shot anyway. I'm not sure Angel heard me. Angel, you talk with the Boston College faithful. They told you the next game has to be what for them to be successful? Oh, it's got to be gritty, not pretty. There you These go. are some guys that are understanding they need to lay everything on the floor. And it's been fun to watch them, especially in that first game yesterday. Warren will draw the foul and he'll be off to the line with about five and a half remaining here. Syracuse actually led with 18.30 to go in the game, 39 to 37. They came out with a 7-2 run to start the second half. Adrian Archery switched to the zone defensively, got two quick turnovers against NC State. We got off to a 7-2 run. Since then, 33 to 15 in favor of the Wolfpack, and they've used their defense and turnovers to be able to make that happen. And this guy, DJ Horn, with an outstanding second half. With 15 points and another foul shot coming. He didn't play against Louisville with that hip flexor, but he warmed up today and then gave a thumbs up to the training staff. He did have to leave for a bit for a chunk of time in the first half, but he returned and returned with a vengeance in the second. He absolutely did. Picked up those two fouls early in the first half, checked out. Bell will launch and hit it. Such a good shooter. He really is. And we mentioned eight of ten the last time these two guys, these two teams played, but unable to stay on the floor in the first half. He would have been a difference maker not for not getting those two fouls. It'll stay on this end for NC State. Leading at 72-57. Middlebrooks to put it in. Warren Airborne went for the bank shot. The tip won't go. Diara's shot won't go either. Finally knocked out by Syracuse. But at this point, OB, the Wolfpack are playing volleyball. They just get it up on the rim, and between Ben Middlebrooks and Muhammad Diara, these guys are going after every offensive rebound. They've been so good that we haven't even noticed the fact that DJ Burns has been sitting down for about the last 10 minutes because Middlebrooks and Diara have dominated the offensive glass. Just back in. And quickly a pass. Horn can't finish it. And his passing skill is just off the charts. When you watch him bounce feed somebody as Syracuse gets sloppy here and just throws it away. DJ Burns with such great vision. And of course he can go over the top at 6-9, but he's got a tremendous touch on those bounces. But Obi, he's told me I enjoy the double team. I invite the double team because it allows me to be able to show my passing acumen. It's easy to pass when there's one guy guarding. And that's normally when he goes to work, when he's got man-to-man -man coverage. But he loves the double team to be able to get his teammates involved. They break the pressure. Horn comes out of there with it. He flips it here for Taylor. 440 left. Two to Mintz right now, having to defend DJ Burns. Here's one of those bounce passes. Marcel, and he'll draw the foul. As Malik Brown was a little late getting there. 72-57. ACC tournament round number two. The quarterfinals coming up tomorrow. As you say, the big boys taking the floor. And if you want to knock off one of those big boys, we well, get your chance tomorrow. North Carolina, Pitt, Duke, and Virginia. Those are your top four seeds. 
And they are in action tomorrow as Marcel makes the first one. North Carolina will take on FSU at noon. Pitt and Wake Forest at 2.30. Duke and the winner of this one at 7. And Virginia taking on the winner of Boston College and Clemson at 9.30. Look at those numbers, OB. Eight points, 14 rebounds. And of those 14 rebounds, seven of them on the offensive glass, the most by an NC State player in the ACC tournament since 2012, the great C.J. Leslie doing the work on the glass back then. Marcel making it 74-57. Former Virginia Cavalier. And another throw away by Syracuse, which they have done over and over here. In round two, it's been the most costly part of this game for Red Autry. It really has been. Syracuse has shot themselves in the foot when you consider the opportunities that they've had and squandered away with the turnovers. Now 17 turnovers. Oh. And 28 points off the turnovers. A collision right there at midcourt with 421 on the clock. And as O'Connell went down. Now DJ Burns he shows a lot of personality a lot of emotion he absolutely has but always flashing that big smile and being a great teammate because he wants his teammates to shoot the basketball when he throws it to him back in the day I used to tell guys OB look I do the dribble I do the passing when I throw it to you you shoot it that's, shoot what, it. D, that's what DJ Burns is telling it's his like teammates it's your right turn now. now exactly because if I want somebody to dribble a pass I'll do that I don't need you to do that yeah he wanted DR to dunk it. Yes, he did. On that last possession we showed in his reaction. O'Connell at the line. 84% foul shooter. Michael O'Connell has an economics degree from Stanford. I think he might be able to get a pretty good job with that. Pretty much anywhere he wants to go. <laughs> yeah. He's going to run into some of you Virginia guys. Not, bad, not bad to have that on the resume. Men's off for Copeland. His turnaround. That'll go. With four minutes to go and a big gap here. More pressure from the Orange. We've seen crazier things happen. Now it's going to be up to the Wolfpack to handle the basketball and be able to make their free throws, which they did so well last night. But good things happen when you get the ball in the hands of the big fella. DJ Burns with a soft touch around the rim. 13 points for him. But his impact has been so much bigger than 13 points. He's dominated this game really without having to score a big number. Sure has. Breaking the press again. Uh oh, you ain't gonna dunk it, DJ. Burns? No, he's not. <laughs> Very gently off the window. 80 to 59. NC State. They were actually trailing in the second half. But they have put this game on ice. It certainly feels like. With a tremendous run, Copeland from the corner too strong. And a 33 to 13 romp that they went on and a whistle. And they were using all of their weapons as part of their attack. And NC State loving it tonight here in Washington, D.C. All part of Champ Week. It's time to begin the hunt. To share the excitement and bake your tails off. M&M's for all fun kind. The ladies have been doing a lot of talking recently. She looks great. What they don't know is I got Inspire, a sleep apnea treatment that works inside my body. I feel refreshed because I'm not struggling with CPAP anymore. 100 bucks, she got work done. Great sleep at the click of a button. Did she get implants? Yeah, I got an implant, Sheila. Relax, it's Inspire. Inspire, sleep apnea innovation. Learn more and view important safety information at inspiresleep.com. He's gonna drain it. It all comes down to this. Oh, how did you pull that? 
<laughs> game recognized game. What is Circle? Circle is the fuel you need to take flight. With zero calories and no sugar, dial up your electrolytes when it's game point. Circle, available at Walmart and drinkcircle.com. This year in MLB The Show, everyone can unlock their major league dreams and see their careers unfold. Make career-defining plays and decisions that affect every step on your road to the top. Unlock your potential. Own the show. Rated E for everyone. Investment opportunities are everywhere you turn. Do you charge forward? Freeze in your tracks? Or let curiosity light the way? At T. Rowe Price, we ask smart questions about opportunities like advances in healthcare and how these innovations will create a healthier world tomorrow. Better questions, better outcomes. Tom and Dallin in studio in the Big 12. Kansas State was in the next four out per Joe Lenardi. They were down 10 at halftime, not anymore. Now Tyler Perry's turned it on. The defense has been very good, but more importantly, they're in the paint anytime they want Kansas State. The shot selection of Texas has been poor this half. We get a look at the Phillips 66 Big 12 Men's Championship bracket. Houston, of course, the overall number one in the country. Odd to see Kansas at number six, huh? Absolutely. And one of the things I got to give the Big 12 credit for, can you remember, you know, five, six years ago where Kansas won the Big 12 every year? Sure. Think about what they've done. They followed the ACC. They've got different styles of play now. One of the reasons why Kansas has done so well in the NCAA tournament as late, because it used to be just Kansas and everyone else. Mm -hmm. Now when you look at the Big 12, you've got the Kelvin Sampson style of play, which is a rougher, more defensive side. You've got different styles of play, and I think that has prepared the Big 12 very well for the NCAA tournament, which has allowed them to catch up to the ACC. O'Connell at the line, making one of two. And an 81-59 NC State advantage. They have played a tremendous second half, the Wolfpack. O'Connell will draw the foul coming out of there. Let's check in with Angel. Well, Mohamed Diara just got done with an extensive stretch, stretching session with some of the trainers. And just a reminder, he is recognizing Ramadan. So he is not eating from sun up to sun down. He was actually giving smoothies and food and fluids at the beginning of this game. So, I mean, he may be needing a little salt, maybe a smoothie. I don't know. But at the end of the day, it's good to see him smiling and also the team taking care of business. 32 minutes and 14 rebounds. Man, did he play hard. I can tell you right now, I do a lot of stretching, but I don't smile it doesn't no. feel as good as it does when <laughs> he actually looked like he was enjoying oh, it. he was absolutely but he's enjoying the fact that he's been dominant in this game we talk about DJ Burns impact on this game DR just as dominant Eight, sure. 14 rebounds seven of those on the offensive glass and when you look at the numbers throughout this game a 20 to 7 advantage for the Wolfpack in second chance points. Mohamed Diar had a whole lot to do with that. I'll tell you another guy who needs to get some love is Jaden Taylor. 18 points in this game. Six out of 12, three out of seven from the three-point land. Syracuse getting on the board, 83-61. NC State with a commanding lead inside three minutes to play. It'll be Mintz at the line. The Wolfpack had five players in double figures in their win yesterday. Only four. However, Diarra's 14 rebounds and eight points classify him for, you know, we, we're going to call that a double double. Whenever you got seven offensive rebounds, we, we'll give you the double double for that, regardless of the fact that you're two points short. Now, you have talked about DJ Burns, though, and playing only 11 minutes against Louisville. They won that game, but a different story tonight. He was on the floor for, you know, 24, 25 minutes. You know, what well, the difference is against Louisville yesterday. Brandon Hudley Hatfield attacked DJ Burns. He had to defend. In this game, there was no one attacking DJ Burns. So he was able to conserve all of his energy. He did not get in foul trouble and was able to conserve his energy for what he does on the offensive end of the floor. And he's been dynamic here this evening. 
Mintz gets bottled up there, and the baseline throws it away. To O'Connell. Middlebrook's running the floor. Crowd thought he walked with that. Out in front, it's Mintz, and Mintz with the finish. Syracuse will take a timeout, but a 20-point game with two minutes to go. 83-63, the Wolfpack opening it up in a huge way here in the second half. Whenever you talk about the DMV, and especially you're talking D.C., you got to mention our Bishop Carroll High School, the George Leftwich Gym, of course, the legend that is George Leftwich. However, in the hallway, there is the standing of the man. That's right. That's Big John. John Thompson in the hallway just monitoring the students as they walk through. That would Alma, keep me in line. That, that, me too. Alma mater, of course, Troy Weaver, the general manager of the Detroit Pistons, and Lawrence Moten, slow mo. As you see, JT3, who is not a Carroll alum, but all, a Gonzaga alum right down the street where Judah Mintz actually went to half high school. But of course, John Thompson III recognizing the statue of his father that sits in the hallway of Art Bishop Carroll High School. Yeah. His dad, one of the greatest coaches of all time, and up against Jim Beheim in the glory years of the Big East. Some of the greatest matchups anyone ever saw in college basketball with Hall of Famers everywhere you look. Absolutely. I wore my Hoya Jays in here yesterday while I was working with Jim Beheim just to remind him oh. of the rivalry that happens in this building. That was very sweet of you to yeah, do well, that. you know, I wanted to make sure I brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> just over two minutes to go. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball it is presented by T. Rowe Price. All part of Champ Week. Invest with confidence. By the way, yesterday was the anniversary of the six overtime game, right? Yesterday was a lot of anniversaries, but it was absolutely the anniversary of the six overtime game. Syracuse prevailing. And kept everyone up. I believe the game was three hours and 47 minutes. Gave Syracuse keeping everyone up late night. Because nobody, of course, if you, once you start watching the third, fourth, fifth overtime, it's yeah. not like you can walk You're not away walking from the away. game. Nobody left. No. no. My little bro. Our stats man, Dave Corris, was there with Sean McDonough, Jay Billis, Bill Raftery. Pass in the game, tried to get the shot up, blocked back at him, and that's a shot clock violation. My little bro, Eric Devendorf, of course, starring in that game, now working with us at ACC Network. But let me ask you this. When you mentioned Billis, Rath, and McDonough, which one of those three you think asked for over, I mean, asked for a uh, double pay for the fact that they had to do an additional 30 minutes? Oh, no question, it was McDonough. Okay, I was just checking. That yeah. would have been my guess. Asked, <laughs> and I think got it, actually. <laughs> Mintz in the paint, floats it up there for two. It just has not been enough of that to keep pace with NC State in the second half. He is 21. 83-65 with about a minute to go. So the Wolfpack will cruise into the second round. This was a tight game for a long time. But NC State, they've got a lot of weapons. They really do. And when they've got their four perimeter players playing as well as they have, when you consider O'Connell, Casey Morsell, Horn, and Taylor, and then you're getting the production on the interior that they got. I mean, this was a complete game. Everyone that had on the red uniform was productive throughout this game. Now, the last time Duke and NC State met, that was in Raleigh. Duke came away with the victory, although Burns had a great game individually. He had 27 points for the Wolfpack, but Duke came away with an impressive win on the road in that contest. But I'm sure as you look at the DJs, DJ Burns, DJ Horn on the bench, they're looking forward to another opportunity against the Blue Devils here in the ACC tournament. On the line, out of bounds, 23.5 to go. And still to come for us on ESPNU, it'll be Boston College and Clemson. NC State to celebrate an impressive win. Great second half by the Wolfpack. They ran away with this one. Syracuse led 39-37 with 18 and a half minutes to go. 
And then it was a 21 to 4 run by NC State to ice this victory. And the Wolfpack wins again. I don't know, is it going to be a magic carpet ride for the Wolfpack here in Washington? It's happened before.